Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome to uh, probably one of the final games for the RM Blitz. Actually, this is Lost Legend: Tale of a Mercen Knights uh, by Keeper Nova Ice, aka Alyssa Bowetcher, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so what kind of a game is this one? Ooh, we're starting right in. How many days? This appears to be automatic. We must hurry before everything is lost. Are you sure sending in the adventurer was out of, was um out of great consideration? Adventurer is capitalized, so it's probably a proper noun here. If Samuel is indeed free, the death of uh, one should be at least our, the least of our worries. Layton, you know you worry too much. Are you sure Master Zel Z Zelema gave the... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we got portraits. That looks nice. I never doubt I never doubt him, Clayton. This place, though, it be, it's, be, it's been sealed off for a long time. Why send us here? Huh. Let's just get the artifact um, and the hell out of here, Lauren. Um, I, uh, I, have, I have another job to, uh, to get finished today. Well, Clayton, it appears the Earth has other plans for you. That just means we'll have to climb once we're once we've done here. Come on, let's hustle. This isn't much time. Okay, one. Take a look at the two sprites here. This uh, character, her sprite is really impressively done, but Clayton's by comparison looks a little fuzzy for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about, but it's not really that big of a deal. All right, let's take a look at what we got so far. Uh, we do start with some stuff. Small amount of magic. Single party member. Okay, that's nice. Tex? Our magics are called Tex in this game. A small amount of fire damage. Okay, so she's a healer, slash, um, kind of like a quipper. Um, I don't think I need really need to look at those right now. A high strung adventurer takes quest head first. One of Master Zelma's best students. She takes her teachings very seriously. Alright. These cracks look a little suspicious. Oh, I don't think it's the Earth as you as um you proclaimed, Lauren. Did our presence al alone wa wake something up? Hmm. A Catholicon? That sounds like a religious thing. Um, it's an item. Restores a substantial amount of health and magic on full party. Interesting. So it's like a group heal. Clayton. Am I right, Lauren? Lauren? She must be unable to hear me. I'll need to proceed and regroup of her as soon as possible. Okay, we're on our own now. Antitoxin, I can assume what that does. What's this? There seems to be, um, something odd about this rock. Is it a monster? Or maybe a switch? Okay. Water. There should be um, be a spring. I wonder if it's clean enough to drink. If I just follow the trail, it should lead me directly to the source. I'm gonna go down here first. Whoa! A terrifying monster blocking the convenient way out, as usual. I wonder if this is whom Lauren was uh, referring to, but we woke up. I probably don't want to fight that just yet. Four minutes in- oh, oh, there are random encounters in this game, okay. Oh, these are cool looking enemies. Majul Slime, Majul Bat, Majul Mushroom. That is a really creepy slime monster. <laughs> okay. Battles are snappy, it looks like. I don't have any skills right now, though. Also, these enemies are doing quite a number on me, and I don't have access to items. Oh no, I do, I do. Use that on yourself. How much does that heal? 150, that's fine. There's probably way better ways to heal later on. 
Also, is it just me? Is the music for this game a little loud? I might need to lower it down um, starting next episode. Level 2. Heal in an olive and lapis herb. Crimson herb, canary herb, lilac. Wait, what? We got like eight items from that fight. The key items? No. The techs. Oh, they are techs. Cures ally of poison, blind, silence, confusion, sleep, and paralysis. Oh, I learned these. Interesting. Heal one, so that, that no doubt upgrades. What's this? A warm light surrounds you. Your battle wounds seem to be disappear from, from your very eyes. Would you like to save your game? Okay, so, yeah. Travel safely in the light. Don't lose yourself to the darkness. Okay, Ansem. Um, resurgence. Oh, we have one of those. It looks like I can't go through these cracks right now. Oh, sneaky chest. Evenglinger. Here's an ally of sleep. Okay. I guess it won't hurt to have a little fun. This is a really bad idea. I miss being home. This uh, world needs more, um... This world needs more forest-like areas. Going down is easy, but getting back to where I was, that's the challenge. Okay, these monsters again. That spider is now. I'm gonna assume that can maybe poison you. Yep, it can. <laughs> right on cue. Oh, I don't want to find out right now if, um... That does not heal much. Hold on. Um, this heals like 150. Just use that for now. I'll heal the poison in a second. I don't want to test if slip damage can kill you or not this early in the game. Or when you only have one party member. Let's see here. Antitoxin. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's cool how that, um... How it, like, slowly, um, rises up. Okay. I'm assuming I need to fight this thing now? I don't think there's any other ways I can go. Are you, um, are you Samuel? No, my name is Clayton. Not to be rude, but are you Ma Majul? Are you after the Earth Sphere? That must be the artifact Lauren and Master Z uh, Z Zel Zelama are seeking. You will not take the, er the Earth Sphere. Well, okay, we're seven minutes in, we have our first boss fight. Um... I don't have any attacks, so I guess we just fight? You're faster than me. Or, huh, I guess we're on a speed tie. Clayton, you're alright? Lauren, I think the Earth, um, Merilith has uh, what we may seek. Your hands will never acquire the Earth Sphere. Enough talk, we need to slay this Earth Mer Merilith before an, uh, before an early grave. Alright, she joined the fight, and she's way over to the right now. Um, okay. I'm still gonna use, like, potions to heal you and stuff. I know you have, like, a fire spell. See how much this does. That's your weakness, although that doesn't really do too much more than your normal attack. Or Clayton's normal attack. Yeah, I guess I'll use it. Um, I'm gonna put you on heal duty for now. And you can't cast it anymore. Okay. Wait, that was a normal attack, but that's still, um... Wait. There we go. That was a normal attack, but you were still weak to that. That probably means that your normal attack is fire elemented. That's good to keep in mind. Oh, you dodged it. Ooh, okay. Oh, we killed it. Good. Whisk learned. Alright, sweet. Strange, no artifact, but what the hell is an Earth Sphere? It must be what Master uh, Zelma sent us to retrieve, but nothing. We should se uh, seek Master Zelma's advice. Let's just report him uh, to him and proceed. One moment, Clayton. There's something I, mu I forgot to give you. Wait. What is this? 
It's a handmade bandana. You know you hate- I know you hate you of those ears. How, um, how you want to hide them. It has a flower on it. Okay, you can just- I mean, uh, I mean, I love it. Thank you. It's quite thoughtful gift, Lauren. Wonderful. I'm glad you like it. Thank you- <laughs> They just, like, plastered it over the sprite. Thank you again, Lauren. This, uh, that's just one less thing I have to worry about. Ooh, who's this? <laughs> who's this tryhard? That boy. No, that's clearly improbable. Oh, I see my dude up there. Clayton. Yeah? Oh. It has come to my attention of your findings regarding the artifact tree of La Maju Cave. Or Majul Cave. I must request you to continue your quest near the town of Lyella. Alaia. This is a really good scroll speed, by the way. It lets you look at the background, too, while you read this. Oh, please. Like, a month ago, I played a game with, like, a ridiculous scroll speed. Like, it went at, like, four times the speed of what this is going at, and you could not keep up. With my given permission, you are to investigate the Shrine of the Goddess, better known to the local residents as a Lai Lian Cave. After your exploration, I request you make haste towards a Vehal. I notice when when the guy is walking downwards, it looks like the um, the text is actually on screen. May the Goddess guide your steps. Zelama. And if, I, if I'm mispronouncing any of this, uh, don't bother correcting me, because I, I, I have practically made a hobby out of mispronouncing stuff by now. <laughs> oh, who's that? That thief? Kind of looks like one. The music in this game is kind of nice so far. I wonder if um, it's default or if the um, the developer made it made it um, made it himself. Uh, let's see here. Illumination. What's this? Here's an alley of blind. Just the letters Elma gave me. Nothing of greater importance to note. No. So we gotta go to, like, some shrine or something? There's also a basement here. I see a sneaky chest down there. A book that Zella gave me. Claimed it was important. Only if I had the time, I would read it. Hmm. What I see some people do is they have, like, make you... They, they let you read the book. Othala. They uh, let you read the book. Is that permanent? I'm gonna hold on to that till I get more party members. They uh, have you, like, read the book, and then uh, you, like, get something special for, like, a new magic. It doesn't have to be great, but just, like, a little incentive to let you know that uh, you should probably examine stuff in this game. Is this permanently missable? Hold on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I just hit no, and the game crashed on me. Um, unable to find file. Error occurred. Check the debug console for more information. That is the least useful error message I have ever seen. Huh. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to tell the dev about that one. You know, 14 minutes is a good stopping point anyway. You guys know me, I like to keep the first episode short in case something messes up. Um, I will replay what I just did and then meet you guys back at Clayton's house next episode. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.